All right, uh, let's continue here now. Uh, the Free State can expect light snow over the mountains in the eastern parts during the early hours of tomorrow as inclement weather sweeps over many parts of the interior of South Africa. Snow has already fallen in Castell and Harry Smith. The weather service says there is a 60% chance of showers and thunder showers in parts of the Free State today. Now let's uh, discuss this further. Richard Lasawa from Snow Report uh, South Africa joins me now. Uh, Richard, the last time I spoke to you was when snow was actually supposed to fall a little bit in South Africa, and that was in July. We are now in October. I mean, talks of snow is just wild. You know, sleet and light snow we here have been reported on parts of the N3 toll route uh, between Van Rienens Pass and Warden. Where else has snow been reported? Uh, hi, Onati. Um, yes, it was, uh, it were, we'd done 11 forecasts when we last spoke, and now we've done 24 for this season. Um, snow, however, has fallen uh, everywhere. We had a bit in the Western Cape as well. Um, we had reports on the Swartberg uh, range, but right up through the Eastern Cape, um, Barclay Pass area, etc., cetera, and, and some of the lower ground there, uh, but around Kokstadt as well. And then obviously the Southern Drakensberg, right up through the Drakensberg and Golden Gate National Park, uh, up to Harry Smith, and then throughout a few parts of the Free State, uh, the, the Eastern Free State. And we did have a nice confirmed video of some snow falling in Gauteng uh, at about 10 o'clock last night. We, we didn't even have to look very closely at the video to confirm that it was snow but uh, just very light. And then, of course, there's a bit more expected uh, this afternoon and into this evening and through tomorrow, actually. But probably tomorrow, mainly in Lesotho. And I mean, I remember the last time we spoke, of course, uh, it was uh, somewhat of an excitement because uh, Gautengas were seeing snow uh, in July from having seen it in 2012. And back then you explained to us, uh, you know, the difference between snow and sleet. I, I think for the benefit of our viewers, uh, please, can you do that again? And as you confirmed, what is falling in the Free State and other parts of KZN is snow, correct? Um, yes, no, definitely. Look, we've had hail all over as well. Um, but everything we, we've been sent is definitely snow. I mean, obviously, you sometimes see a bit of sleet in between and coming down at first. But we've had snow settling on the ground in quite a number of places. Um, and it was most definitely snow. Um, last night in, in Gauteng uh, was also definitely snow, small snowflakes, uh, very clear on the video. Um, but yes, uh, sleet, you know, when it when it comes down and melts a little bit and freezes, you get, um, it, it, it's not quite as fluffy. Um, and when the wind blows it, it's not affected quite as much. Whereas snow, you see a little bit of a breeze on the flakes will go all over the place. And that was what we saw at Gauteng last night. Uh, but yeah, loads of actual snow all over. And uh, not unusual um, for this time of the year. Um, in some places, but most definitely not that common in others. Um, but it does happen. It happens all the way up uh, through any time of the year, mm -hmm. right up to Christmas. And even uh, just how well equipped, you know, is our country to prevent ice formation uh, on the surface? Because we know, of course, uh, many motorists have been advised to drive carefully uh, in some of these areas. Uh, look, I, I mean, I think uh, at the moment it is quite warm, so that snow is going to melt pretty quickly. It's it's what happens when it gets cold. So if you've got snow on the ground, it melts a little bit from the, the heat of the road, and then it refreezes as we get to late in the day. That's when it becomes a little bit more dangerous because it, it can get very slippery. You can get black ice. Obviously, it's slippery any time when there is snow on the road, but if if it freezes later in the day, as you see on some of the high mountain passes. That's when it gets particularly dangerous. Um, we'll have to see um, up on the N3 side what's happening there. Um, temperature's not super cold, so we'll have to see very much uh, the state of things there. Uh, when will we see better weather, particularly uh, given that, uh, you know, we are in October and many of us are planning for our getaways um, in and around the country uh, ahead of the festive season? Well, uh, 
I don't know, hopefully, you know, we've, we've seen a bit already and uh, we certainly have, nobody's that excited about the snow anymore and haven't been for a while because it has been a very cold winter and, and so on. So hopefully soon, uh, we certainly look forward to it. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's not only snow report that we do. <laughs> we, we certainly would, uh, would like to spend a bit of time on, on other matters as well. So hopefully soon and, and hopefully it's a nice summer. I would imagine why Snow Report wants to see snow uh, more often than most South Africans would want to see it. But Richard, thank you so much uh, for your time. <laughs> That's uh, all the time that we have for now. Thank you so much, Richard, uh, from uh, Snow Report South Africa, of course, um, giving us an update there. Uh, Free State can expect uh, you know, more snow over the mountains over the next um, couple of uh, days. And of course, uh, KwaZulu-Natal is experiencing some snows in fact, uh, in um, Panduanian's a pass between um, uh, KZN and, and, and Gauteng. But we'll keep you updated in terms of what is happening around the country in terms of those cold weather patterns.